Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Basically, I went to Walmart and honestly, my boobs were so engorged that I couldn't really take it anymore and like it was hurting so badly and right now it's not bad. I'm surprised that it's not bad at all but I think the last time I vlogged was when I was telling you guys that I was going to Walmart. So I'm at home right now. It is officially the fourth day of postpartum and I'm feeling good, feeling super emotional. And I guess it's probably normal because hormones and things like that, everything is like trying to go back to normal. I'm trying to get my life back to normal. And it's been crazy because, you know, we're still trying to get into a routine and, you know, a whole lot of that other stuff. Just kind of getting everything together just because I was due two weeks later so we didn't think that we would you know have that much time not to be prepared you know what i mean and it was unexpected so everything was just you know, kind of crazy but i'm here now i actually want to show you guys some of the things that we bought at walmart since i vlogged and then i kind of stopped vlogging because everything was just unexpected oh and my pot is boiling right now okay so like i said yesterday i went to walmart and i actually got myself a manual pump which i have to boil as well because i need to sterilize it but we got that and we also got a monitor and we live in an apartment and a monitor is not like something that you really need need but honestly for me i do a lot of household things and i really need a monitor especially if you know i'm watching tv and i can't hear her because i like to keep the door closed just so you know there's not too much noise like i still want her to have noise when she's sleeping so she's used to it and she doesn't wake up startled and scared or whatever and she hears like sudden noise at least like if i'm in the living room or in the washroom or in the kitchen or whatever i can still hear her and you know i know that she's perfectly fine because her cries are really like small like i can't really hear her unless she's like crying really really loudly so so just quickly to go through everything um, we got this. This is the VTech Safe and Sound and it actually works really well. We tested it out. It comes with two parent units so each parent can have one and then the baby unit it connects. So there's that. I think that was like I don't even know 50 60 something dollars something affordable something easy to use we don't really need anything too high tech because we don't live in a big house and then i got this here which is the even flow manual breast pump and it's also travel friendly and i'm not going to be exclusively pumping so i don't need anything too serious it comes with one manual breast pump and i think it comes with like the bottle at the bottom here so you can put the milk in there and also i got this this is breast milk storage bags so i can just store when i need to i got the this is president's choice it's like a walmart brand and it comes with pre-sterilized 60 of them it's freezer safe and it also has leak proof zipper and it's disposable as well and i also got nursing pads by the same brand which are in the bedroom right now but right now it's like almost nine o'clock and i barely had sleep yesterday but you know what i'm actually kind of getting used to it currently watching Grey's anatomy burping the munchkin look at her hair yeah, you got a head full of air, huh? A head full of air. <laughs> hey, Madeline. Hey, baby girl. She's looking now. Her eyes are opening. You're like four days old, huh, sweetie? Huh, baby girl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at her little hair. Oh, my God. Look at her fat neck. <laughs> But look, her hair is growing. It's so long. It's like, what, like half an inch? Oh my god. You should see this. Here, I'll take a picture and I'll show you. Okay? <laughs> so I am currently doing a tummy time right now. This is the first, well, not really the first time. She's actually done tummy time on our chest, but she's doing tummy time for the first time like on the mat. And she's doing it on her swaddle right now. And she's actually not irritated. She kind of she kind of likes it. I don't know. I'm kind of, you know, I'm not concerned or anything. And she seems like she's okay with it. 
Um, I think she's kind of used to the position because she does it on our chest a lot. And she is starting to lift up her head when we do it on our chest. So she might like that better. But for right now, I'm actually starting to do it on the mat. Both, actually. On the on her mat and then on our chest as well and my dog is just being really annoying i don't know why you're crying so here she is she turns her head and then she kind of leans but yeah stop it man you're so annoying why, why are you crying why are you crying Nico, relax relax this guy Here's Maddie. Yeah, I don't know why he's crying. If you guys know, please tell me. He's wagging his tail, but he's like whining like he wants attention. Oh, look at you. Look at you. It's not time. Gonna put her in bed soon so I can take a nap too because I'm pretty tired while she's taking a nap. Because they say, sleep when your baby is sleeping. And also, I'm going to be posting a video of today. So, I thought I wasn't going to take a nap. But, I actually fell asleep. And I was on my phone. And then I just put my phone down. Took off my glasses. And I think I was using my phone without my glasses on. Because sometimes I do that. And it probably dropped out of my hand or something. But I fell asleep with gum in my mouth, which is very dangerous. But I was chewing it and I didn't realize that I fell asleep. But I wanted to just get some um, ice, refill this ice tray. Also get some prune juice because the doctor recommended to eat it just so you can release some bowels and whatnot. And I haven't done that in a, since the birth basically and also i have to clean baby's bottles and you know get some other bottles to prepare for later on i mean she already fed but she'll probably feed again soon not soon but in like you know two or three hours or so she's still sleeping well she was kind of feeding and sleeping at the same time which she does still got lots of videos to edit and i'm supposed to be uploading a video today but i keep slacking because i'm like so tired but i'm gonna do it for sure now that i took my nap trying to figure out what she should wear um i showed you guys this before but basically these are all of her newborn stuff that's sized newborn and then these are all of her zero to three months but technically i i guess it's newborn too but i mean she can wear it up to three months and for these ones it's only like two or three weeks or like the first month or so but she's really small so even the newborn stuff she cannot fit and she's over there right now sleeping chilling watching youtube videos now i changed madeline and i fed her and now she is in her bouncer. She's kind of like sleeping, kind of not. When my mom comes home, she's going to take her for a bath. Because my mom wants to bathe her. She won't let me bathe her. I don't know why. I guess it's their little bonding time. So I'm just going to let her bathe her. And my mom always comes home to bathe her and change her. But here is my little munchkin. This bouncer is super cute. It's the Ingenuity. I think that's the brand, Ingenuity. And the style of it is Felicity Floral. If you guys are wondering. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. Super cute. Super girly. It also vibrates and plays music. But I don't want her getting used to all of that. Plus, she sleeps pretty well. So I just let her lay in the bouncer. You're looking so cute, Maddie, in your bouncer. Say hi, Maddie. Sorry, I'm watching a video and I think she's falling asleep. And me eating my popsicle. So good. 